you have to go back to some of these text message mm -hmm. exchanges that we continue to learn, Marie, more and more in and, and, and this pretending to stumble upon this Wall Street Journal article that they clearly, according to their text messages, knew about. Article is out, but hidden behind paywall, so can't read it. Wall Street Journal, boy, that was fast. Should I find it, put in quotations, and tell the team? I mean, these are clear indications, aren't they? That, that well, we'll see. Again, I've always said we need to have some answers from them. They should, I don't know if it's going before Congress, I actually think they should just get their story out publicly and answer some of the many questions we have about their behavior and what they did. It will be uncomfortable, I'm sure, but it's better than... How would than they do that? How would you yeah. like for them to get their story out? Well, because they're publicly. having an affair. Well, I mean, how public fine. do you want yeah. to take this? She came on to me. I'd like to know how well, it I is. I actually don't care about their affair. I think we're making a lot of, we've made, a lot of people have made insinuations or accusations based on text messages, but we don't have the whole story. And so I think they need to answer all of these questions about what these mean, yes. what they were involved in, and it could be totally innocuous when it comes to the investigation, or it could not be. We just don't well, know. One reason we ought to so care about the, the affair is because it was among two agents, and that might be why we even know about this in the first place, because they were texting back and forth. But I would say this about Peter Strzok. How is it uh, that this situation goes on, right, and he doesn't come out in any sort of fashion and maybe through an attorney? or I mean, there are ways to get your story out there. Right. But, Brian, I see a huge dialogue bubble above your head. Yeah, there was like, there was like <laughs> 20 of them. Number one, uh, I've been schooled in, on the way the FBI works is a lot of people say when we have these conversations on the couch, whether it's upstairs or down here, they say, well, you're running down the FBI and you're hurting their morale and you're being critical of people who don't get paid a lot of money and do a lot of great work behind the scenes. But I've also been told... Keep Washington away from the field offices. Yeah. The field offices are just as angry about what appears to be uh, a bad behavior as we are should it lead us that direction. We ought to find out more because that's not what they're doing. They're pursuing investigations, giving information to Washington, and these guys are texting back and forth trying to maneuver with the media to possibly upend a candidate. <laughs> that is out of control, and that's got to be cleaned up no matter who's in office. Well, what do you think they should do, though? Should they do an interview? Should they testify? I mean, I think they actually yes need to yes. defend themselves. Oh. To the press or trying to plan stories. And by the way, let's just point out that they had some precedent, shall we say, for that via their boss, James Comey, who willingly admitted that he was out there leaking you just to dropped the press. The mic on that whole thing. They <laughs> but, could leak it. But in other words, if they were doing that, and look, we don't know from these text messages, right. but it sure doesn't look good. Right. Uh, it looks as though they knew the article was coming, and then it did come out, and they were texting back and forth, but they need to answer that question. And you know what? If they're leaking to the press, and they're trying to manipulate this information, as you Trish, say, Brian, it's just wrong. It was October. It's before the election. Yep. So they're influencing the election yep. in some way. We, we've got it down this we morning to five yet. different well, articles. Marie, in the how else do you interpret those text messages? Wall Street I mean, Journal, boy, that was fast. But guys, like when you're in, I will say when you're in government, reporters come to you and say, here, respond to the story. We have one coming. We knew there were stories coming before they came out. Not that I was trying to influence them, but they would come and say, do you have this a comment? This is a top-ranking FBI official working on I, the Robert Mueller I'm just probe, saying, talking there's by a, a text to another there's FBI There's a very employee. negative way to read these texts, and there's an innocuous way, and I know they don't look good, and it's tempting to go to the darkest corner of the room. That's why we need answers from them. I'm not defending them. I'm just saying we need answers, and we can't assume the worst without a little more evidence. How about overall anti-Trump bias at the FBI? Should they be doing more to identify if there is further bias within, within the agency? Well, Legally, you can have personal political opinions as long as it doesn't impact your work. And I'm sure there are a lot of conservatives that work at the FBI as well. Bias in their work is what we're Right. So, so we have to focus on whether that impacts work. And I'm sure they're on the lookout for that today. So Sandra